Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to avoid course errors by creating a servlet in AM 6.3. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is download Node and NPM because we will be using NPM, an NPM module to install a mock REST API. Okay, so I've already downloaded it and let me just verify I have it here. Great. And I'll be using a NPM module called JSON server. So I'll go ahead and install that globally so I can use it on the command line. And first it says to create a db.json file with this content, so I'll do that. Okay, and then we can start it with this command, but I want to disable cores, so I'm going to go ahead and add that flag. And let's verify this is working. Great, so we're successfully pulling information from our REST API. Next, what we're gonna do is we will create a client lib to send an AJAX request to get that information from the API. Okay, so I'm gonna use my AM archetype here. If you don't have it, you can check out how to generate it in a previous video. And all I'm going to do is fetch, which is the new way to do AJAX in JavaScript. And then I'll log the response. And I will add this to my js.txt so it's included in the, in the client lib and I'll build. Okay, and let's see if this is working. And I have a handy tool called AM Front, which lets me switch between the editor window and the how the page is actually going to look by just doing Command E. So I'll do that right here, and you'll notice that all it does is remove editor.html and add question mark WCM mode is disabled. So this is how a page will uh, look to a user uh, rather than like someone who's authoring or creating a page. Okay, so we got our expected error. We get no access control allow origin header is present on the requested resource. So we need to figure out a way to get around this. So next what we're going to do is we're going to create a servlet and bind it by path so we can hit this path. So I'll go into core, which is where my Java files are stored. And you'll see we have an example servlet here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create our own. OK, and then let me just look up how to create a sling servlet. Okay, so I need to add at component and service servlet.class, and then I have a bunch of properties I can add. So let's do that. Okay. 
Okay. And property. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to want to do is uh, set a path for this. Okay, so I'll do sling servlet paths, which you actually don't see there, but that's a thing. And I'll do plus, and then I'll just do bin slash cores. And by convention, the path will lie under bin. Okay, and since this is a get request, we're going to want to extend sling safe method servlet, since we're not modifying anything. And we're going to want to override do get. Okay, and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dependency for a library called Fluent, which will make dealing with requests a lot easier. So let me go ahead and find that Apache Fluent dependency. Okay, and so I'll add this entire dependency to my root pom.xml. And then in my core pom.xml, I'll add the dependency but without the version. And then they should have a quick start, which will just show me how to work with requests. Mm. Here it is. Okay, so we just do request.get, and then we can like execute and return content and turn it into a string. Pretty easy. So I'm going to do request dot get and then the URL of our API. Execute and then I'll just return the content. And then all I'm going to do is just write that back. So I'm not going to do anything special, I'll just kind of pass this data along. String. Okay. And that looks good. And now what we're going to want to do is change this to hit our servlet. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it to JSON as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that. And I forgot the equal sign. And I also have to remove the need to authenticate with the sling. Okay, and let's just check it now. And occasionally you'll get like a weird error that may just mean that it's loading, so don't freak out, just keep refreshing. Great, and it looks like we got the JSON. 
So now let's try creating a servlet and binding it to a resource type. So it's actually recommended to bind servlets to resource types as a best practice. And on the Apache uh, document or Sling documentation, it'll show the caveats of binding a servlet by path. So if given the option, try to shoot for a resource type. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a node and what I'll do is I'll just call it cores and it needs a sling resource type and I'll just give it a generic type of sling resource okay and then let's bind this so we will do sling servlet resource types plus sling resource. And then we also need to remove the need to authorize for that. And so the sling auth requirement, uh, requirements minus cores, that just means that an anonymous user can access the servlet. But we also need to make this resource or node accessible to anonymous users. So I hope that's clear. Sling auth requirements means that an anonymous user can access the servlet, but you also need to specify that an anonymous user can access the node that is bound to the servlet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into user admin and for anonymous users I will give this node read permissions and save it. Okay, and now let's just try changing this, and we're going to build again. All right, and let's see if this works. Another 404. <laughs> And it does. So congratulations. You just learned how to create a servlet to avoid the cores error in AM 6.3 by binding to path and resource type. Thanks for watching.